Coming to Key West is so beautiful, yet so different from the Upper Keys. This is unbelievable. You don't even need to get in the water to see what's in the water. It's beautiful. Oh, wow! Those are really big. This is one of these things that you just can't pass up, though. A lot of people, when they think about the Florida Keys, they think about Key West specifically. But little does everybody know, Key West is probably about two and a half hours from us in the Upper Keys in Isla Mirada. So, it's a nice little vacation. Yeah, when we're down here, it essentially feels like a vacation. And one of the best parts about Key West is all the sandbars, beautiful beaches as you guys can see here. And incredible fishing they've got here. She hit the nail on the head. <laughs> So that's what we're gonna be doing. It's the beginning of summer. The weather is so hot. We have slicked out calm, beautiful conditions these next couple days. So we're just gonna be bringing you guys along all throughout our journey from sandbars to beaches to fishing, dinner down here in Key West. I'm so excited. Me too. So as we mentioned, this is one of the things that we just love about the Lower Keys, and it's just endless beaches, endless sandbars. I mean, if you go to a specific spot and that sandbar is taken by someone, you can have an entire beach, sandbar, whatever it is you want to yourself. And I think everybody owes it to themselves to either bring their boat down here. Or get a charter captain to take you out here. Or get a charter. Yeah. and just come out here and experience this. But this is what Life by the Bow is all about. We're gonna show you guys exactly how we do this so you guys can come out here and replicate it for yourself. All right. So we had our fun at the sandbar, hopping up in the tower just because it definitely does get sketchy up here in Key West when the tide goes out, but this is one of the many reasons why I put the tower on this boat. It's for situations just like this, being up higher, being able to navigate throughout these channels because when we got here, the tide was nice and high, but it has just dumped out. So we don't have very much water right now. So we gotta be very strategic based on how we get out of here. So if you guys are ever down here in Key West boating, make sure you're paying attention to the tides and most importantly, you're sticking to the deeper water because it is really easy to mess up here. Let's see if we can get out of here in one piece. All right, next stop is the Opal. It is really shallow. So like we've talked about in the past, when you get into a situation where things get sketchy, it's just best to slow it down, idle as slow as possible. All right, so it looks like we've reached a dead end. What we're doing is we're heading back up inside of the islands and we gotta find a new way out. The reason why is just because there's probably about like three, four inches of water on the way out and it's rock, so. It's definitely something that you don't want to end up on. So we're going to go back up inside of these channels here and see if we can find a new and deeper way out. If not, looks like we might have to wait on the tide. Next stop 
stop is the Opal. Alrighty. So as you can see, we just made it here to Opal Marina. Got the Pathfinder all tied up. Personally, this is one of my favorite marinas here in Key West, just because everything's pretty new, pretty updated. We have floating docks, so that way you don't have to worry about tides. And we all know sometimes in Key West, we like to have a little fun. So it's always nice to tie the boat up in a manner where we don't have to worry about it. I wish I would have brought some longer lines, but basically the way that I have the boat tied up is I have a line here in the front and I have another line in the back, right? And then I have a longer line on the starboard side at the mid cleat and that's actually pulling the boat away from the dock. So that way we don't have to worry about it banging into it all night long. And at this point we're pretty good and we're just gonna unload and we'll show you guys the room here in a bit. But another reason why I really like Opal is just because we're right here. As soon as we hop on the boat tomorrow, all we gotta do is head west and we will be fishing. Here she is. Here I am getting all cozy up. See, Stephanie likes the festives that involve air conditioning. That's right. So Works. she got the room ready, I got the boat situated. What do you think? <sighs> I like think it? it's nice. It's a nice room. I mean, would have been nicer with the king, but it's okay. Clay and I are small. We can snuggle up on one hey, bed. <laughs> can't complain. 350 a night. But now that we have some downtime, I want to show you guys this app for smartphones and tablets called Savvy Navi. There's a free and premium version. Here we are on the weather portion of the app and it's as simple as just tapping in an area and you have all the weather here at your fingertips. Same exact thing with the tides. Say we don't want to check this area, we want to get a little more dialed in, just tap in that particular area and it's as simple as that. Now the route planning feature is really cool. Um, so here we are at the Opal and basically we're just going to select the point A, right? and say we wanna go up into all these sandbars over here, but we're not sure how to navigate around all this. All we have to do is press plot route, and it's as simple as that. And you can download the app, it's savvy-navi.com slash life by the bow. And uh, yeah, other than that, we'll see you guys first thing tomorrow morning, and hopefully we can catch some fish. Well, good morning, and as you can see, it is just a beautiful, gorgeous day this morning. Got the sun coming up in the background. Right now, Stephanie's putting away the Waves RX stock lines, but we are running way west. Hopefully, run into some good fishing, but I'm feeling really good, feeling real confident. Right. What do you think, Stephanie? If the grouper are still there from the last time we went, <laughs> then we should have a good day. <laughs> well, we put them all back, so hopefully they're still there. Right, maybe that gives us some... Uh, some good, good karma. Good karma. Talk about a dreamy ride there. Just cruising on autopilot the whole way over here and it is just so calm. I mean, we don't even have to fish. It's just so enjoyable being on the boat, but we're pulling up to our first number here and uh, once we get on top of it, we're gonna drop the trolling motor spot lock. No anchor pulling today, which is amazing. So it's time to anchor up. This looks amazing. You look amazing. Thanks. Feelings mutual. Oh, 
I'm feeling tired. Man, I hope one day I can I can have like an, a 60, 70 foot yacht. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why? I love your imagination. What's wrong with this little 24 Pathfinder? No, I like this, but I was just You want to pull it behind your yacht? Right. Progress in life by the bow. <laughs> I got faith in you. Got something on here. I want to say some type of grouper species, not a big one. Probably a small red. Yep, that's what we got. Look little at. guy, little guy red grouper. No need to grab this guy, rip off this slime. It's gonna take the D hooker. Yep. Don't even have to take him out of the water really either. And then when you're done, I'm on. Ooh, what I got something got? different. What do you have? A yellowtail looks like, a nice really? one. Yeah, that's a keeper <laughs> for sure. Look at that. Something to add to the bag, right? These 12 inches. You could put them on the cutting board right here. Oh yeah. Definitely 12. What is he, he's 14? Oh, no. Stephanie. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew that was gonna happen too. That's why. There he goes, I'm watching him swim right back down. Oh, he's good. <laughs> Swimming right back down. Oh my god. That's okay. This looks pretty good here. We're in about 80 feet. Got some nice little marks on the sonar. That's really it out here. It's just, it's really important to have a really good transducer on your boat to where you can kind of just idle around and try to mark that good bottom. That's exactly what we've been doing here. And whenever you see that GPS screen on the sonar light up, when I say light up, just lots of little marks, lots of distortion on there, that's how you know you've hit a good spot. And it doesn't always happen immediately. Sometimes you gotta take your time. And then you have people like Stephanie that wanna get on my side of the boat and try to steal my fish. Hey, my bait went Go get this back way. on your side. Listen, I'm on the right side of the boat, so I need to stay on the right, because I'm always right. Well, depending on which way you're facing. <laughs> Probably another little red. Oh, actually, you know what? It's a yellowtail. I think I got your yellowtail back, Stephanie. Yay! Actually, no, it's a little red grouper. I have a feeling this spot might have been cleaned out. I'm on. Did you get your yellowtail back? I hope. Oh, it's a yellowtail. There you go. Get your redemption. And it's a bigger one. What's so funny is you didn't even It's a bigger one. Well, there you go. That's good karma. There you go. You didn't even have to measure the last one, but. Here we go. Nice. Here. So Clay is going to go ahead and show you how you measure a yellowtail. Look at how he just turned white. I know. So they so got to be 12. Yeah, their maximum tail length. He's 12 inches. He's over 12, but you do. Yeah. Wow, it's nice little change. Nice little yellowtail right there. Look at how he's changing colors as we speak. All right, let's put him in the box. Bigger yellowtail? Yeah, like. look at that. Nice, that's not a bad size one. That's actually a really nice size that's yellowtail. That's a good size, get that thing in there. Woo all right. At least we're eating something tonight. Hey, listen, I actually really enjoy yellowtail. I love yellowtail. I was just really looking forward to a big grouper. It's a fat one. Yeah. Look it's at like, what'd you call me? He swallowed a hook, so it's a good thing he's going in my belly. He's a pretty little fish. I'm on. Here we go. We're not going home without catching a grouper. No, we're not. We'll stay out here at the fort. 
Well, unfortunately, we just had to throw in the towel. When you fish some of these numbers that we're fishing right now, and you've had a ballyhoo like this down there for about 30 minutes, you know something's wrong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head more so towards the fort. We're just gonna hang out, make some lunch, see if we can catch some fish on the way home. But you know, better than nothing. At least we caught some yellowtails. So we're out here trying. That's all you can do some days, right? Stephanie wanted to keep on fishing. I wanted to come to a beach. And I don't know about you guys, but we can go fishing whenever we want. But it is rare that we have conditions like this. I know I sound like a broken record, but this is just, this is unbelievable. The visibility is unbelievable right now. You don't even need to get in the water to see what's in the water. See all the little coral heads, it's beautiful. Those are really big. So we made it here to the fort real quick. Just wanted to show Javier, our cameraman, since he's never been here before. And we just pulled up and there's these two massive Goliath groupers. And he's hand feeding them right now. Just look at the size of his head. What's, what's funny about this fish, dude, is he could fit you inside of his mouth. We just made it here. I think this is East Key, Middle Key, sorry. But East Key, Middle Key, and there's another key here that you're actually not allowed to land on. What I mean by that is your boat can't touch them, you can't get off on the islands. And I wanna say that these are protected probably for like turtle nesting or bird nesting, whatever it may be. Big thing to remember, a lot of places around here in the Dry Tortugas, you're not allowed to anchor. So we're gonna drop the trolling motor, put it on spot lock. So. That way we're not breaking any rules. So what do you think, Stephanie? It's been gorgeous. It's um, clear skies, sun is shining. It feels like we're in the heart of summer right now. But everything, everything can't go perfect. That's why fishing has maybe been a little slow. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe the fact that grouper season just opened a lot of these fish got pounded. Yeah, but we still got some fish. We, we got, got some something. Yellowtail. And there's still potential to catch something on the way home, but you know, it's just a prime example based on how you can turn a negative into a positive. Simple fish in here, guys. So, have a big old circle hook there. Got our butterfly ballyhoo, just gonna go through the bottom lip, out through the top. We got a 60 pound leader, about 15 feet of that. We have a swivel, 
and that swivel is just going to keep that weight from sliding down onto our leader and it also allows us to do our line to leader connection and this is 30 pound braid tied to a bimini twist the reason why we do the bimini twist is just to add more strength to this knot here then we have our veil prototype rods this is about a 30 pound rod and then we have the 5500 pen slammer there we're going to drop it down see what we can catch <laughs> what you got i don't know <laughs> nice that's, that's a, a black. black yeah you caught a black come here yeah grab him grab him <gasps> whoa oh my gosh look at his skin it's all moving no it's got like little bugs on them yeah there's like little like that's in his those? skin those aren't parasites are they i don't know but it's in his skin clay it's not yeah, like that's outside crazy. look at that that's extremely weird it's like moving around underneath his scales or something so we're just gonna drop this guy and let him go watch he's gonna take off there he goes that's what's crazy about grouper when you release them they have so much energy Clay, I'm feeling it. Feel it. It's, I have something. It's in the rock. <laughs> I'm not kidding him. I know you're not kidding. You got a good fish on. Careful. That's the one we've been looking for all day. That right there is a grouper. It's fighting me all the way to the I top. I hope you get him. I hope you get them. Nice red. Sweet. Let me get them under the gill. What did I tell you? Good Claire? job, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just told her, let's leave, but you know. sure enough, we got them. <laughs> That's the perfect little size right there, too, man. Let's take a measure on he him. He just oh. hits 20 inches. God, I hope he's 20. That is 100% a 20 inch fish, even 21. <sighs> okay, good. Woo good job. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God! Your baby. patience always pay off, and I hate to admit it. I told you, do not move. So we were making our way home and we saw this sailboat rack. So we figured, hey, let's just check it out. And never it's a seen it before. We, we've known it's here, but we've never actually stopped on it. No. You can see the mass from afar, but there's so much current flowing over top of this thing. And you can see it's loaded with fish, all types of life. Wow. This is one of these things that you just can't pass up though. Today, we ran a total of 185 miles. We burned 63 gallons of fuel. We really had to work for these fish today, but you know, we spent our time doing some filming, spent some time around the Tortugas, and I like to do as much as I possibly can all in one day, just to take full advantage of it. But. We're going to be taking this guy to the restaurant tonight, in addition to our yellowtail. And there's nothing better than a fresh Key West grouper right here in Key West. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. That's good. Got good sauce on it. So good. But you guys know how it goes. Come down to Key West, do some boating, do some fishing. Yeah. Come eat at some of the restaurants down here. Yeah. I know you guys won't be disappointed. No, not at all. We appreciate you guys for watching this long and just sticking around, so. Yep, this was a long one. But it was. Till the next video, we'll see you guys then. We'll see you then. Bye Thank guys. you guys.